January 19, Second Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who runs ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down, and remain he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord I did not know him. Though they were cousins, John the Baptist says of Jesus, I did not know him. There is something to Jesus who pre-existed before John, even if the latter was born earlier. John's baptism of sinners is to make Jesus known to the people of Israel. He also baptizes Jesus because he has been made known by the Father who has asked him to do it. When he has accomplished his role, John confesses to know Jesus as the Son of God. John has obeyed the Father, and he encounters his Son in full faith. Knowing Jesus is a gift of God, it is also a process. When we do the Father's will, we will know Jesus. The Father will draw us to Him. We will no longer be ignorant of Jesus. Ignorance of Jesus is a sign that we are not doing God's will which is, in our baptism, to renounce Satan and all his works, to commit ourselves to God and his church. Certainly, we will not know anything about God unless we are committed to him in faith. If we are faithful to our baptismal vows, we will certainly know Jesus. Isaiah, first reading, says something about himself which can be applied to Jesus. He is God's servant. In him, God show his glory. God formed him as a servant in his mother's womb. Though of lowly origin, he has stole orders from God to restore the tribes of Jacob and to be the light of, to all nations for the salvation of all. Paul, the second reading, knows who Jesus Christ is. He confidently says that Jesus is the cause of our sanctification. If ever we are holy, it is because of Jesus. Paul is convinced that everyone is called to be holy in Christ, to be holy in Christ Jesus, who is the Lord of the Christians in Corinth and of the apostles. We have no excuse in not knowing Jesus. In the Eucharist, we come to know Him more through His words and sacrament.